So if I'm going to create a new sheet, uh, starting with my drawing file, I am going to need to know a few things about Connect. And the first one is that underneath the Explorer, so if you don't have Explorer loaded, hit the Explorer button, there is a tab here for Sheet Index. And the Sheet Index is laid out so that you can create multiple sheets in the same area and it'll number them appropriately to the AEC CAD standards. So if I'm going to create a new cover sheet, the way I would do that is I would come over here to the Models button and I would hit New Model and I'm going to do a sheet from seed. So the sheet from seed is going to automatically pick up the DGN Live that is containing the sheet seeds and the size that is defined in the project. So if I want this to be the cover, I'm going to say this is my cover sheet. And I'm going to add this to the sheet index. One thing you got to be pay, paying attention to here is that when the you notice the sheet order here and the sheet index in the Explorer tab is uh, in order. If you look at it here in this picker, they're not in order. They're in alphabetical order instead of in the CAD standard order. So you got to hunt around a little bit to find it. But I know this is a G0 sheet, so I'm going to pick general and hit OK. And this will put this cover sheet into this uh, project. So now I have the cover sheet inserted, but I need to edit the title block information. So the next thing I have to do is come in and make the sheet index editable. This opens up the DGNWS for writing, so if multiple people are working, you'll have to be a little bit patient to be able to access it. But I'm going to drill down to my new sheet in this project, and I'm going to look at the properties. And I have in here sheet properties. So I'm going to put in cover sheet. And I'm going to capitalize all of this so it looks nice. And I can do multiple titles. They get tied to this information over here. And you got to be a little bit patient because every time you pick a new line, Bentley writes to the DGNWS file. Optional value 1 and optional value 2 are for these values over here. So you'll have to map these items if you want to use those in your sheet index. But they are available to you. So once I've done that, and I can create multiple sheets and do all the editing at one time, then I need to make the sheet index read only by hitting that button. And then once I've done that, then I can right click on any of these and say update my sheet model properties. That pushes the information from the sheet index to the sheet model. So if I look at my model properties, I'll notice that down here at the bottom is the information that I put in the sheet index is now pushed to this model. Now to fix the border, I got to do a little bit of mapping to make sure that these items are tied together. And since there isn't a, uh, a predefined setting for these, they have to be remapped manually on each sheet. So I'm going to shrink all these down and then I'm going to pick my cover sheet. So sheet, sheet title 1 and hit OK, hit a data point. And then I'm going to map all of these so if somebody adds seven to line 2 in the future, it will hook in there. Uh, da, da, da. And there's sheet line, line 3. And if I'm putting something into optional value 1, I'm going to also map that thing. And because this one isn't mapped to the sheet index by default, I have to hit delete there then hit the field edit fields find the model property and pick optional value 1 and i could repeat that for optional value 2 notice that it changed it to four uh, pound symbols or four hashtags what that is is means that the field is blank the design script when you go to print that we have it set so anytime you see four hashtags it's going to uh, not print that information 
So that information is filled out, but notice that the sheet ID is not correct. So how do we fix that? Well, we come in here to annotate, and we pull down these additional text items and hit update all fields. Now it's picking up the sheet ID. And then you can repeat this for the sheet index, the abbreviation sheets, and so on. When you move these around, they keep in order, so I try to do the sheets in the order that I want to create them, but if I need to, I could make the sheet index editable and move around sheets to make them, put them in a different order if I need to.